Oh. All right, DT, I don't know if you are aware, but you, you're you the first WN play, WNBA player in history to hit 3,000 career field goals. How does it feel to get <laughs> It's only taken 18 years, but I finally got there. Uh, I mean, that's just the product of playing a lot and, you know, being here for a long time and you know, I've been really lucky to, to be on some great teams with even greater players and, and coaches. Obviously, you know, Sandy had a lot to do with that for a long time and Coach Westhead and Corey Gaines and Coach Graff my first couple of years. Um, you know, it's just been been fortunate to be here for a long time and have the support of, of the club and, and you know, and, and a lot of players. So uh, just lucky. She's being modest. That's buckets. <laughs> buckets. See, if you're a non all star, you can still do it, everyone. <laughs> Tonight, though, you really built a goal a lot. Was that a point of emphasis going into this game, or was it something that just ran from the garage? Yeah, you know, I think sometimes I get too happy with the three point line, and uh, especially the last couple games. And, you know, I just think when we, as a, as a group, when we're attacking uh, the basket and getting in the paint, especially playing a little bit smaller now with more shooters and more space. Um, I think it just uh, creates a little bit more offense for everyone. And, you know, uh, I think when we collectively do it today, Shea got to the rack. Skyler, you know, she's the, the best in the league at doing that. So, um, you know, I got to do that a little bit too. I'm sorry. Uh, when you have one of your teammates going crazy in the first quarter like that, what does that do for the team? Um, it brings us energy. You know, Sophie is a spark. What is she coming off the bench and starting? And for her to start the game like that was great energy for us. Like, everybody fed off of it. Everybody was engaged. And you can't do nothing but celebrate. I know I was celebrating even if I was on the court. Like, you just get excited in the moment. And I'm really happy for Sophie. Like, she puts in the work. And I'm glad she's able to show what she can do for real this year. I mean, she's playing amazing for us. I think, you know, sliding her to the four has really opened up her game in a lot of ways um, that we haven't seen. And, uh you know, she just plays with a lot of heart, uh, brings it every single day, even in practice. Sometimes it's like, Sophie, just shut up today. But <laughs> she doesn't. She brings it every single day. Hey, Dee, hey, Shay. Uh, congrats on the victory. Um, I know you two have played with uh, with Sandy Bontel for a number of mm-hmm. seasons. Dee, you played with her all yeah. the seasons that she was here. Just for both of you, what was your favorite moment that you had uh, with Sandy? And then just what was your experience playing under a coach like her? Uh, my favorite memory with Sandy was definitely in the finals. Um, she was so excited. And I think after the game, we just hugged. And I've never seen her that excited. And it just felt good because, you know, we worked hard that season last year. It was a grind. And for us to make that accomplishment, it felt amazing. And for me, like, I appreciate Sandy. Um, she was the first coach to actually really give me a chance and give me some minutes and productive. And if it wasn't for her, I don't think I would still be in the league right now. So thank you, Sandy. I mean, I've, I've, I had a, you know, 10 years with Sandy, uh, you know, eight years here. And before that, uh, two more years in Russia. And, um, you know, when when someone's in your life for, for that long, 10 years, not only on the basketball court, off the court, um, you know, you have a, a lot of memories. And today, uh, just to look over there and we saw Brody and he's like a grown man now. And we knew him when he was, you know, three and playing with dinosaurs. So uh, all my memories are off the court with Sandy. Um uh, she's the most giving, uh, the most humble um, coach I've ever been around. Um, and the one thing I appreciated it the most about her is she treated everyone the same. Uh, and I think that that goes a long way uh, for humanity. And, and Sandy does that every single day to everyone. How would you find this one? Gritty. Amazing. And how do you feel after that this is going to impact the synergy between all of you guys who feel like this is an improvement and being able to build this momentum kind of going into the second half of the season? Yeah, I, I think so. Every time you end with a win, um, it feels good. So going to all-star break, we have something to build off of. Um, it's good momentum, and hopefully we just pick it up second half and just make another run. Now, do you guys feel that since uh, two is gone, you guys are moving a little bit smaller, do you guys feel that's – improving just your overall offensive flow just how do you guys how are you guys kind of feeling kind of like this lineup change from our, I guess the size yeah we were talking about it on the way um over here and you know when you lack 
you know, that, that size um, inside, which, which we do, you got to make it up with activity and grit and making sure we're all on the same page. And, um, you know, I think defensively more than anything, we've, we've looked pretty good uh, for long stretches. And I think offensively now we're starting to figure out, um, you know, spacing and, and, and different combinations and different sets that, that really make everyone pretty dangerous out there. What's the biggest thing you guys look to um, for the all-star break now is reset for the second half? What was the beginning, sir? Uh, what's the biggest thing you look to, to mm -hmm. reset as you hit into the all-star break and get ready for the second half? Some beers. <laughs> <laughs> Recovery. <laughs> Massages. No, it'll be nice to get away for, for a little bit. Obviously, Skylar has to go um, to All-Star and, uh, you know, she's going to go there and, and represent our whole our whole club and, and everyone here in Phoenix and X Factor. And, you know, we just got to reload um, and uh, come back with, uh, with something to prove. How often does the word playoffs go through a locker room today? <laughs> You know, you can't look too far ahead because you might just stumble on a little rock. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like that's it. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank Have you. a good All-Star. Yeah.